What are some of your favorite media outlets? I said I like independent journalists. But who? Like uh, some of the people I follow on Twitter have the best news. Like who? Like who are your top three? Um, I would say, first of all, I love Daily Wire. Um, you know, I, I like uh, Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh. I, I like everything they do. Um, I like, I really like Jack Posobiec. Shout out to Jack. He's great. Uh, I like Mike Cernovich. He's, he's cool. Um, who else is there? Yeah, there's a few others. Are you still on Substack, by the way? I know you had a Substack at some point. Yeah. What are your top uh, media place for news? 404 Media. Love 404 Media. Are you familiar with them? No. Great website. Uh, independent journalist. Um, Walter Fragman, who does Important Contacts. Great Substack writer. Huge fan of his work. Um, God, there's so many. Uh, Matt Bellany, Lucas Shaw, Julie Alexander. The importance of individual autonomy in choosing media outlets, particularly focusing on Chaya Reichick's preference for independent journalists. It suggests that Reichick's choice reflects a desire for personal freedom in accessing information and indicates a skepticism towards mainstream media, favoring alternative perspectives. This inclination towards independent journalism may also align with conservative figures such as Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, Jack Puzabik, and Mike Cernovich suggesting shared political and ideological beliefs. Conservative concerns about potential biases or censorship on mainstream platforms have led to a deliberate avoidance of platforms like Substack, with alternative sources like 404 Media being preferred. By critically engaging with the media and seeking out optimal news sources, the public emphasizes the importance of scrutinizing information with a discerning eye. The diverse range of media choices, from traditional outlets like Daily Wire to newer platforms like Soupstack, reflects a value system that encourages embracing various perspectives and sources.